today we are going to make salmon burgers. Stick around, you're going to want to see this. First thing you're going to need to make salmon burgers is salmon. You can also do this using tuna or whatever type of fish that you would like. I have some gefilte fish salmon. We're going to use that to make our salmon burgers. So the first thing I need to do is mix in one egg. And we're gonna get that nice and stirred up in there. Going to add in some spices. I've got a half a teaspoon of paprika, pepper, parsley, basil, thyme, and a full teaspoon of chives. Then we're going to add in a half a cup of breadcrumbs. I'm using panko. Just get that all good mixed up. Then we're gonna add in a third cup of shredded Parmesan cheese and a third cup of triple cheddar. Now we need to get our pan ready, and I am just going to put in some olive oil, and we're gonna heat this up good. We don't wanna put our patties in until this gets nice and hot. So let's get that pan heated up. The oil's nice and heated. Turn that heat down. We don't want it to be too hot and burn. While it's cooking, we're just going to drop this in the pan. And I'm making them a little large because I want them to be big enough to fit on a nice size bun. But if you wanted to make them smaller, you could, and you could make them for like an appetizer or a snack. You could put them on crackers. That would probably be pretty good. We're going to add a little bit to these guys over here. They're a little bit small. We're going to cook these up until they're nice and brown on one side, and then we're going to flip them over and cook the other side. Now we're going to flip these over. Oh, look at that nice brownness right there. That looks good. Just going to flatten them just a little bit. This will cook a little more through rather than just cooking it around the outside edges. You can see my pan doesn't cook real evenly, but that guy flipped over there. All right. Smells really good. Now we're going to let those cook on that side for a little bit. We might have to flip them again since I 
smooshed them a little and it kind of come out around the outside of the brown edge or brown side there. I've got some crinkle cut fries in the air fryer that's going to go with this for a meal. I'll flip these again. Oh, that looks good. I kind of turned them so that the uneven part of my pan will now cook the other side. All right. Let those cook just a little bit longer on that side. I think I'll turn the heat down just a smidge since we're getting a little dark around these edges right here. We don't want them to get too dark. We don't want them to be burnt. But we'll turn it down a little bit and let those just kind of brown real good on that side too. Leave there brown enough on both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this heat off. I'm gonna remove these from the pan and I'm gonna actually put them on some paper towels and let some of the grease kind of uh, soak up out of them. I don't like mine to be too greasy. Doesn't that look amazing? What a yummy lunch this is going to be. Let me give it a little bit of a taste. Mm-hmm. That is really good. And you can put whatever condiments you would want to put on it. Mayonnaise would probably be really good. You know, whatever, if you're a ketchup lover, do ketchup. You don't even have to have the bun. You can eat these without a bun. That That's really good. If you give these a try, drop a comment below and let me know.